Welcome aboard folks and welcome back to my regular viewers. My name is Rod and in today's video, I will be talking to you about how to prepare for an interview. This will be more from a generalized point of view. I will present this series in multiple different videos where in each video, I'll do a little bit of a deeper dive into each of the three segments uh, or perhaps more important categories that I'll present to you in this video. There are three main categories when I think of preparing for an interview. They are presentation, technical skills, and soft skills or people skills. Those are the three categories to dissect an interview. When thinking about that, it is important to, even before addressing those, addressing something that is so basic that sometimes it goes overlooked, which is, remember, people hire people. I cannot emphasize this enough. It is important for you to understand that the objective in truth, is that the person interviewing you likes you. They have to like you for the job that they're hiring you. If you check all the boxes, but they don't like you, you will not get the job. Unless you're the one that they like the least of that day, then you may still get the job. <laughs> but it is ultimately a person to person thing. And it is important to keep that in mind because in today's society, there's, uh, you know, there are computers and softwares and, you know, specifications and details and formats, and we can get lost in the, in the details and forget that in the end, it's just humans hiring humans. So we do need to focus on that people aspect of the equation. Okay. So let's begin. Presentation. Each career will have a very unique set of requirements for what they consider to be appropriate for an interview. Some are uberly conservative, where the absolute majority of the people being interviewed that day will have the same color suit, same color shirt, same color tie, and same color shoes. And then maybe the eyeball guy that didn't get the memo. <laughs> Others are more flexible and allow for you to experiment and present yourself a little bit more unique to you. And then others may in fact incentivize you presenting yourself in a very unique manner to your personality for the more creative types of uh, career industries. So it does vary, but the bottom line is you must find out the expectations of the employer. What are they looking for specifically for that job that you are applying? Within a company, especially large companies, there are many different levels, right? So you will have to know what are their expectations considering what you are applying to do? Obviously, if you're ranking well high up in the structure, you will already know what the expectations are, but this is just something to keep in mind. Now, once you find out what is what are their expectations within those constraints, you can still make a difference. So for example, suits, suits are, are very common. Uh, you know, men wear suits and, you know, business suits are not exactly, uh, it's hard to be innovative. However, you can present yourself in a manner that will look, the suit will make you look your best in order for that to happen the suit must be a proper fit. Now, this alone is, is almost an industry. I mean, you could do, you know, dozens of, there are channels on YouTube dedicated to 
style and how to look proper and make countless videos on just a suit. However, simply stated, it must be appropriate to your size. There are so many guys and gals out there that they show up and the suit is just too big or it's just too small. So just wearing an appropriately sized garment will go a very long way without getting into the finer details of texture and color and quality, just simply proper sizing. The shoulder ends where the shoulder is supposed to end. The arm, once extended, is not too long, is not too short. This is a little bit shorter because it's a sport coat. If it was an interview suit, it would probably have to be a little bit longer, showing a little bit less cuff of the shirt. Um, once you button your suit, you would like to make sure that there are no unnecessary stresses on your jacket, right? None in the front, none in the back. Uh, the length of the suit is appropriate for your height and is appropriate for the environment, for the interview. Your trousers, they need to fit accordingly. Again, not too big, not too small. The break of the pants needs to be a good amount and it varies depending on your height. Typically, the shorter you are, the less break you want. And the taller you are, the bigger break you can get away with. Because since you're tall, you're not going to look too short. Um, you know, those kinds of tips and tricks. There are so many. There are so many. That, like I said, you can make lots of videos just about proper presentation. And it is important to bring to mind that not only is it about uh, what you are wearing, but also your fingernails, your eyebrows, the shaving, the haircut, and how you present yourself entirely, head to toe and through, inside and outside. So it is important to keep that in mind, a very holistic aspect to your overall presentation. Again, Let's just say this interview is for your dream job, you know, like I had the interview going into the major airlines. It is extremely important to present the absolute best version of yourself, the best foot forward, and be true to yourself in the process, because it's going to be hard to fake it, right? And then give yourself the best chance of securing that position. That's what you would like to do. And that's the objective and the focus of the appearance and the presentation. Don't think of it from the standpoint of it's just too shallow. They should see who I am on the inside. Um, human beings are visual creatures. We have two eyes. We're visual beings. And if you present yourself in the best manner possible, especially edging out the competition, odds are... Uh, you're going to get the, the position that day. So do keep that in mind. Next video, I can go into a little bit more detail as far as airlines are concerned, but we're going to go on to the next step. Next step would be technical. In the technical segment, again, very, very, very special, particular to each individual career. However, I mean, th this is a cop-out, obviously. It's always easy to say, just know everything, right? However, we know that that is not necessarily, not exactly possible, especially if you're not technically inclined, though on a daily basis, you are very competent. That can uh, be an area of weakness. So you need to mitigate the areas of weakness as best as you can, address them as best as you can. So if you're not too technically inclined, before the interview, you are required to show a lot of technical capacity. Perhaps you can talk yourself into hard preparation just seven days prior to the interview or, you know, one month or two months, depending on the complexity of the job that you're applying for. So again, very specific to each industry, and it will greatly depend on the complexity of the job that you're applying. 
uh, just to give you some reference, you know, airline pilots, once they are applying to the major airlines, they will definitely be expected to have accrued a significant amount of technical knowledge. And it is a extreme, the odds are high, you will be tested on that technical knowledge via a computer test that will encompass a very wide range of that knowledge um, on the day of the interview. So you just know that going into it. And in other areas, in other fields, it can be very fluid and dynamic. Uh, engineering, for example, or, or, or software uh, coding is something that is uh, very dynamic. My, my father has been an engineer his whole life and has uh, worked in that field his whole life. So there are always new coding langu languages coming out and the latest product that they're expected to be extremely fluent in. Well, showing up to the interview, it is imperative that you are up to speed on the trends of your industry in order for you to present your best, uh, give yourself the best chance possible of securing that inter uh, that job. And uh, perhaps uh, some of your competition didn't watch this video and is not aware that hey, you know what? There is this latest thing that came out. It is literally seven days old, but it is important that I show up with this very fresh knowledge because it'll it'll prove to those that are looking for uh, somebody to fill this position that, hey, I am that dedicated. I am so dedicated, I'm tuned in, and I haven't even gotten the job. Extremely important, yes? Um, again, next video, I'll dive a little bit deeper uh, in, in, in the following videos on the airline pilot specific um, technical segment, which will be, you know, depending on how you look at it, it can be very, very involved. And then the last area would be the soft skills or people skills, which you could argue perhaps the day of the interview is in fact your most important uh, a set of skills. How you speak, how you present yourself, those soft, non-technical skills that you have to develop over time are extremely important. And they may make the difference. Uh, you know, either recovering from a bad technical segment or just tanking after an excellent techn technical segment. So it is very important to embrace the idea of excellence through and through, beginning to end, delivering your very best. Presentation is up to par, technical skills are up to par, and then soft skills are up to par. Now, it, it is also very difficult to properly address soft skills because it's not one plus one equals two. It is not, you know, here's the question and you look the answer up in that book and there's a page that can reference you to it. It is a lot more nuanced. So the number one best piece of advice I can provide you in this segment is to actually hire a company or a consultant or somebody that their job is preparing people for interviews. And then you do a mock interview. You pretend you have an interview one day, you schedule a meeting with this person and they will ask you very common interview questions and see how you answer. Uh, in its entirety, again, that presentation, the fluidity of your ideas, uh, beginning, middle, and end to your answers. Very, very, very important. Is there continuity? Is there clarity? Is it long enough and not overwhelming with details? It is a very technical, or tricky, I should say, tricky dance. Um, that would be tip number one in that uh, category. Tip number two would be 
find out very common questions in this segment for the career that you're applying to and the job you're applying to within your career and uh, type out the answers. Uh, you do not show up to an interview uh, trying to wing it. You shouldn't. Uh, odds are, if it's a difficult position, you're just not going to get it. Uh, however, have your answers typed up, read over your answers, don't memorize them, but have an idea of their structure and their presentation, right? So that you can, in fact, uh, deliver the story in a manner that keeps the their attention, the interviewer's attention, which is so important. All these details will give the person interviewing the correct idea that, hey, this job opportunity is extremely important to you individually, and you have, in fact, put forth a tremendous amount of time and effort and dedication into getting ready for this day. And if you are that dedicated to this job before getting the position, odds are you're a good bet. You're going to be a good employee. You're, it's a good hire right? Odds are you're going to get the job. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to secure that dream position. So that is how I would present the uh, soft skills aspect of it. Again, do look forward to, uh, in a future video, a little bit of a deeper dive where I can provide you some additional examples of these uh, questions. Well, folks, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It is about how to prepare yourself for the interview and giving yourself the best chance possible to securing that dream job. Once you have broken down these uh, the interview into three different uh, categories, you can then begin the arduous process of tackling uh, those categories and preparing yourself in the best way possible to ensure success. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit quick and uh, this, uh, this topic is very specific. So do help me out if you know somebody that is going through this and could probably use a hand, a tip, um, steer them in the right direction. Uh, send th this video over their way uh, so that we can I can grow the channel. All right, folks exciting things coming in the near future. I do thank you for sharing your time with me. Again, my name is Rod, and until next time, as always, fly safe. <laughs>